on this computer. Okay. So first of all, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your evening to come on. Um, like I said, we have a ton of announcements, um, and I'm just going to go right into them in a minute. But one thing I wanted to say before I forget is that tomorrow night, there's also going to be the surge. I did post about it in our team page. So make sure that if you're available tomorrow night, I believe it's at, I believe it's at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I could be wrong if someone wants, but I believe it's at 5 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. And so if you are home, if you're available, hop on it. Um, Chris Downing's gonna be on it. There's gonna be a couple Star Diamonds on it giving advice. Carl is gonna be talking on there. So definitely hop on. If for whatever reason you can't make that specific time frame, know that it's going to be recorded. And so you'll be able to, whatever the link is to it, usually these events are live. And so the way it works, especially for some of my, my newer coaches, if there's ever a YouTube, like a live YouTube event, you can always check out the replay just by clicking on the event, like clicking on the link for the event. And so if you can't make it at that time, it's okay. Um, so what I wanted to do actually was take about 10 minutes um, and go over some of the announcements that we had over at Summit. And I think the best way to go through them is to actually go ahead and show the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take in the next 10 minutes, um, especially for those, and it, it'll be a refresher for those that were there just to kind of remember and go through it. But we're gonna go through, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so that we can go through some of the new announcements together. So here I am, can you guys see my screen? Awesome, so let's first start with Clean Week. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight as to why this was created. Um, just realizing that coaches were already running this on their own already. A lot of coaches were doing some sort of free type of group to engage people. And so corporate took notice of that and was like, I need to do so, you know, let's do something. Let's create something for the coaches so that they don't always have to be creating something. And let's, you know, have something where someone can actually do a one week type clean eating. They'll get seven days of Shakeology and it doesn't require an on demand purchase. So usually right now, right, a lot of us will try to get someone on all access or we'll try to get them on on demand to do a free trial. And usually when they have to sign up, we, they have to either put in their credit card information. The good thing about this new program is that this is going to be before the credit card information. So they're not going to have to put in any type of, you know, credit card information if they, you know, just to kind of check it out the clean week. Um, so that's something that's really really awesome so i'm going to go ahead and let the video play a new weight loss program but wish you could try incorporating exercise and healthy eating into your life before you make a long-term commitment well now you can it's called clean week a seven-day healthy eating and easy fitness program that will give you the perfect entry to a new lifestyle so you can decide if you're ready to keep going before making a long-term commitment Clean Week is created by Megan Davies, Beachbody's newest super trainer. I've worked with thousands of clients of all shapes, ages, and sizes. The hardest part is always the same, that first week. So I created an entry-level program designed so people can sample some of the moves from all the other programs, plus see how good a week of clean eating and healthy nutrition will make them feel and show people how they can do this. As I've been working with coaches recently, we realized that one of your most valuable tools is the one-week sneak peek groups and clean eating weeks. So rather than make coaches create something on their own, we decided to do it for you. Call it Clean Week, and that way your prospects can try eating clean for a week using an easy-to-follow meal plan. They access the week of workouts on Beachbody On Demand, plus they drink a shake every day to see how good their body feels with a daily dose of dense nutrition. And Megan even calls out moves from many of our other programs when she does them. And by the time your seven-day group is done, they'll know how amazing Beachbody On Demand is. They're linked to you as a coach, and the transition into a challenge pack and full membership is that much easier. And Clean Week is so simple to follow. You get a seven-day eating plan that guides you through a week of clean eating. And it's full of simple recipes to mix and match, so you can personalize the perfect menu for your taste. Plus, there's simple 30-minute workouts anyone can do right at home. 
There's cardio for conditioning, strength to build muscle mass and burn calories, core function to flatten and strengthen that belly, and flexibility for increased range of movement. You also get seven days of Shakeology, a daily whole food formulated delicious shake designed to deliver the nutrients you need to help you lose weight. It's loaded with powerful superfoods. There's proteins and fiber, adaptogen herbs, pre and probiotics, antioxidants, phytonutrients, and the vitamins and minerals your body craves to help curb junk food cravings for the entire week, support digestion and regularity, and provide healthy energy to help you power through your workouts for a full week of weight loss the healthy way. And by committing to one week of clean eating, Shakeology and exercise, you'll feel so good by the end, you won't want to stop. And that momentum can be the turning point to your new healthy, fit, and truly sustainable lifestyle. I was so far out of shape, it was a joke. I had tried several other programs where I got into them for like three or four days. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop it right there. One thing I want, so guys, this this video is going to be available to you. And so one thing, for example, as I'm kind of thinking ahead to talk about this. I don't want you guys trying to explain this, okay? Utilize the third-party tools. Send this, when you're ready to start, when this program comes out and you're ready to start utilizing this tool, send that video. Does that make sense? You're gonna say, hey, do you, you know, by any chance, do you have some time to check out this video? I think this would be a really awesome start for you in your journey. And then if they say yes, then, say, then send them the video. Don't try explaining it in your words. Beachbody spends millions of dollars on these infomercials. And so utilize the fact that they're, they're spending all of this money for us to help us so that we can make sure that we're getting people involved. So that is going to be clean week. And I know I'm super excited about that. The other one that I wanted to talk about is the daily sunshine. And so this is really, really awesome. I'm going to go ahead and share a part of that video as well. Um, that is our new kids shake. And so I know a lot of people are very much excited about that, but I want to make sure that you guys are checking out these videos and just in case, and like I said, if this is repetitive for you, I just want to make sure that you guys are seeing some of it. Hello, welcome to the Beach Body What You Need to Know Kitchen. Aren't there's actually not a kitchen called that, but this is What You Need to Know. And of course, joining me is the person who knows it all, as uh, the lovely, talented Isabel Deichler, co formulator of Shakeology and the formulator of the brand new Daily Sunshine. And I know a lot of people are wondering, and we have this fantastic shake that I've had for now the last. Every day for the last seven years, I think you drink it too. Yes. We've got Shakeology. Why did you create a three-in-one smoothie? Well, first of all, I want to confess that when I was pregnant, I prayed very hard that my son would inherit Can you guys hear my this? love for vegetables. But my yeah. son inherited his love for pizza. So we both eat like toddlers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So as a mom, I know the struggle of trying to get your family to eat healthy. And I have looked at so many snacks, and most of them are filled with refined sugar, saturated fat, artificial flavors, and the list goes on and on. But they're so good. Yes, this is why I created Daily Sunshine. It's balanced nutrition that your kids will love, as well as your big kids. <laughs> and CEOs. And CEOs. All right, so what is Daily Sunshine? Tell us like, truly why this is special and important well we decided to call it the three-in-one smoothie meaning balanced nutrition three important things it's made with a blend of organic fruit and vegetables one organic pea protein two and a good dose of healthy fats three plus we added fiber and probiotic to help support healthy digestion the calcium and vitamin d to help build strong bones and antioxidant vitamin c and e to help free radical damage. So the three are protein, protein, healthy fats, and your vegetables and fruits. All right. I just wanted to quickly show that. That is a 10-minute video, guys. It's on our team page where I made the post about the announcements. Definitely go watch the remainder of that. Um, but one thing that I know is that a lot of this, this formula was specifically also made for a lot of picky eaters, right? How many of you have really picky eaters in your children? Um, and so this is a lot, this was, this was formulated specifically for those children, especially. So definitely, you know, I know there's different ways coaches are promoting this. 
Um, one way that I saw that was really awesome was actually having your kids like taste it live and you know giving their honest reactions which is a gamble obviously but it's also funny and cute and hopefully they go in the right direction of you know enjoying it and um but i know that there are coaches who have done it and it's really doing really well um and so just something to think about again also this product is i believe um there it's certified organic ingredients there's no gmos um and so it's really it's dairy free it's gluten free and so it really um, is, is geared for, for the children. So definitely um, take a look at that. And then the other video that I want you guys to take a look at, not right now, but it's in the team page, is going to be um, Double Time. And so Double Time is going to be coming out in November. That's another announcement that they made. It is a Tony Horton video, um, not video, workout program for families. And so one thing that I noticed, and I know that those of us who were there noticed, is that um, Beachbody is really going to lead the trend of family fitness, which honestly, I 100% love. You know, I think this is something that truly, yeah, I see all the applause. This is something that truly, I believe, really sets us apart from our competitors and from other people and from other programs and from other companies. The fact that they are willing to take on, you know, family fitness. Um, and so I want you guys to really think about that and get behind that um, because one in three children are overweight. And obviously, you know, one thing I want you guys to understand as a physician, and there's a lot of healthcare professionals on here, I know that the damage is happening early on when it comes to the damage to our arteries, to our coronary, to our heart, to the arteries around our heart. And so, and, you know, you have, if we have all of these children that are overweight, or even obese, which I've seen children overweight and obese, the damage is being done at this young age. And so really, you know, keep that in mind, take that to heart, let that be a driving force for you, for your community, for the people that you love, for the people you know, to really put out that message. So Double Time is going to be a workout program that you'll be able to do with a partner. Um, and so there's gonna be kids in the workout video, there's going to be, um, you know, people of all different ages, and that's the idea. And, and I know that Beachbody will be having a whole family channel within the Beachbody On Demand platform, so that's also going to be um, in the horizon. This Tony Horton, this video, is this program is going to be the first of that series of programs. And so just kind of something for you guys to think and, and kind of really think about. So that's gonna be exciting. That's going to be in November, and I know I'm super excited about that. Another thing um, coming out in the fall is the UK launch. So that is going to be in October, guys, and that is huge. We're essentially going into another market, and this is going to be the first step in the international expansion of Beachbody. And so this is the time, guys, now. This is the time to really start thinking about, you know, really solidifying your story, really solidifying your why, really solidifying your message. Because, you know, so that when this expansion happens, you are, you know, your platform, you have a good idea of what your platform is. You have a good idea of what your brand is. Start thinking about your branding, what your message is. Like for me, and some of you on here too, we have, we may have the same audience. I'm going to be targeting healthcare professionals in the UK. And so that's what I'm going to be targeting and other professionals. Some of you may be targeting moms who have certain backgrounds, maybe similar backgrounds to you, similar stories. Um, one thing I want you guys to realize is that at the end of the day, what sets us all apart is our story, our background, what we've been through, what our struggles are, and also the way we deliver our messages. Some people are going to be able to relate to the way, you know, Hannah or Karen or Kate, you know, delivers their messages. Some people are going to be, they're going to listen more to the way I deliver my message. And so keep that in mind is that, you know, as you guys practice, you know, get, delivering your messages, know that that's what's going to be helping with the attraction of other people to your team. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is that this fall as well, other announcements that they talked about was that in the fall, we're going to be having a new coach online office. So this has been in the making for you know years now. It's a multi-million dollar venture for Beachbody. It's going to have a phenomenal interface. They gave us some, they showed us some of the, of the interfaces um, over at Summit. So we're really excited. 
It's going to launch first in the UK and then it's going to launch in Canada and then we're going to be the last ones to get it. Um, but it's going to have a great phone as well as phone platform. And so right now, Beachbody is aware that some t that our, that our current system is not that easy to manage and not that easy to navigate. They are, they are aware, they have heard us. Um, and so they are bringing out this whole new system. So it's going to be really awesome. The checkout process is going to be so awesome being able to send our people to, to be able to look at challenge packs and our products they're going to have up sales for that if someone you know someone wants to order a challenge pack they're going to automatically on the next page offer them the kickstart which is the three-day detox which is going to be a potential up sale that they can either opt into or opt out to so i think that's really awesome that they're going to have that option so just know that that is also coming in the horizon and that is coming this fall um, a couple other things and also with the coach online office as well as the main team beach body site uh, in terms of Team Beachbody Cup, that was another announcement. In August, Team Beachbody Cup is forming. So groups of five people. So everyone on this call should plan to be on a Beachbody, uh, on a Beachbody Cup team. Um, it's a really fun way to get together with other teammates and to really push. I, the idea is to see who gets the most success club points, but really it's overall a push to see how many people you can help. One thing that's different in this that they've never done is that two diamonds can group in the same um, cup team. So that's really awesome. In the past, it was only one diamond per team, but now you can have up to two diamonds in the team. So that's really awesome. And then obviously you just have to, um, kind of form your teams and one thing I would suggest and we can talk about it more as the month comes as the month comes closer with August is really coming up with a game plan with your team planning to meet regularly and really push each other really push each other to reach out to people to hold each other accountable um, that's going to be key and then another thing that they announced at summit was the diamond bonus pool which is really really awesome guys something that you got you know you may not know is that Oh, what, what's, I see all this shift shop gear. Check this out. The wear and share up in the top right with Chelsea and her, and oh my goodness, awesome. Um, anyway, so I got distracted. I'm like a squirrel, it's like squirrel syndrome. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the diamond pool. Okay, so the diamond pool. Um, and so one thing you guys may not know, you know, in terms of the way that we bring in income, obviously you guys know about the direct retail commission, which is 25%. We get 25% off of anything that we sell to someone. We also get a certain, um, when it comes to team cycle bonuses, which we'll, we're gonna be talking more about that over the next couple of weeks so that you guys really understand volume and you understand team cycle bonuses and how that helps you, um, you get to really qualify for that once you are an Emerald coach. But a third way, and then the third way is with our, with the all access, the Beachbody on demand, we get 40% commission off of the Beachbody on demand platform, which is really awesome. Right now it's a year, you know, most people are on the year kind of, it's a year, um, a year subscription. So when that goes to renew, in a year, you're going to get 40% off of that commission. Um, so that's really awesome. And so the more people you have on that, the more, you know, potential for that 40% commission. But another way that we get, you know, we do get some extra money is through bonuses. And in the past, you only received a bonus at two star when you got to two star diamond. Um, but now they opened up this whole new pool because again, us leaders, we were saying we need an incentive to help people push because at the end of the day, it's we know that people like to push and what better incentive than cash, you know, what better incentive than saying, you know what, you know, let's push for diamonds, stay at diamond and you get $250 every quarter. Um, and so that's extra bonuses um, to something to consider because there's two more quarters left in the year. And so if you want to push for that, I believe you have to be um, you, I, I believe the last date to qualify to start your qualification as a diamond is August 23rd. So for those of you who want to push for that, um, and are close to that, know that you have, you know, you have to be diamond to wake up diamond on that Thursday of August 23rd and hold it for six weeks. That's how that works. And then on top of that, you must hit success club, um, in order to be able to qualify for that. So something to think about, and that's going to continue on, you know, forever now. So if you don't hit it this quarter, push for it for next quarter, and it'll go continue on into 2018. So just kind of, again, extra money, extra cash that you'll be able to, to use. Um, so something to think about.
I believe those are all of the major announcements. And obviously, Coach Summit, um, it will be in Indianapolis. And so I really hope that all of you guys have bought your tickets or are making it a part of your vision board to make it to that summit. I can't, I mean, again, you're going to hear now some of the takeaways. And I hope that you'll hear, you know, you'll see for those who were not able to make it this year, um, really put it on your vision board. My goal is to have a hundred people from our team there next year, which is like a 75% increase. So push it. It's a 75. I don't know if I did the math there. Right. But we, you know, that's definitely a huge goal for, for, for us as a team is to have a hundred of us represented. And I believe that if, you know, I, I believe we can do that. Um, so, all right. So I've been talking enough. Um, Oh, Luke says it's three hundred percent increase. See, I told you. That's if it. it's twenty, so it's three. So that would be, yeah, that would be okay. Yeah. All right, awesome. So what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm going to call on people who were there in no particular um, order and really have you guys kind of take. You know, the idea is that is about five minutes. Just your key takeaways um, from summit or an aha moment. I know it's going to be hard. I, I already know it's going to be hard to do five minutes, but it's okay. Cause I, I, I understand. So I already prefaced this by saying this may be long, um, but I think it's good. And it's good for all of us that were there too, to hear what the takeaways were from other people in case you missed something. Um, and so, and something guys, you know, to kind of consider is that some of us will be sharing our notes from summit in the team page. So look out for that. Um, so that you can definitely see all of the points that, you know, that we kind of took from Summit. Um, so let's see. Jacqueline, why don't you go first? Oh, wait, does Hannah, Hannah, why don't you go first, just in case. Go ahead, Hannah. I was going to say, my kids are like ticking time bombs at this time of day. So I'm like, let me get this early. Um, I made a million notes. So I'll just kind of point out my most favorite ones. Um... One of my favorite quotes from the weekend was, wherever focus goes, energy flows. Uh, positive affirmations and to visualize your goals and to uh, surround yourself with influential people. Um, this lady who made that quote, and I didn't do a good job at keeping track of all their names because there were so many of them, um, but she said that at the time she didn't have those people. So she surrounded herself with authors of personal development books and those became her crew. You know, she listened to them repeatedly. Um, next I put, go back to being a student, always stay coachable and keep stoking the fire. Uh, I think that's what I'm focusing most on coming back from summit is just good, getting back to the basics and, you know, getting together a new game plan from here moving forward. Just always be coachable, always be willing to learn and Oh, sorry, all my kids are flocking to me because that's what they do. Um, make a list of everything you've tried when you feel like you're failing. So when you feel like, you know, this just isn't working, when I, you know, when you get to the point where, you know, I've, I've tried everything, I'm doing the vital behaviors and whatever, make a list of the things you actually are doing so that you can be like, oh, yeah, I'm actually not inviting people like I thought I was, you know, things like that. Um... Let's see when you get a little day. Eh, that's boring. Um, don't get stuck in a sea of sameness. Um, basically, don't follow those top coaches on social media because, you know, I raised my hand when they said, who follows so-and-so? And while it's great to get inspiration for them for your own fitness journey and things like that and food, um, it's not great to mirror what they're doing because we're not the same. You know, these people live completely different lives than you, so don't get stuck in the sea of sameness. Make yourself unique. Um, it says write a list of five things that make me unique. So I'd put, you know, I have four kids. I'm not the first person that has four kids, but that's... <laughs> I don't have four kids, apparently. Um, I have twins. I make candles. I live in a tiny town, and I have anxiety and depression. And I like to talk about those things, and people, you know, I'll get messages about people who relate to me in those ways. Uh, C-section moms comment all the time, you know, how'd you lose, blah, blah. So make yourself different, pick something, you know, that you're quirky and weird about and talk about that. Um, I'm trying not to talk all day long, let's see. Oh, yeah. right. yeah. Yes, they see. Uh, know your client's pain points. Um, they stress a lot, several people stress a lot, I'm not, Info dumping, you know, when people comment or contact you, don't just be like, blah, 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 and here's all the things like lead with questions and just let them kind of sell themselves. Hang on, honey. Um, let's see. This lady 
made, she said, uh, made the decision she can either be depressed and drinking booze and doing all these things that are going to hurt herself or be depressed and working on herself. So she made the decision that when she is helpless, she helps. And I think sometimes when I feel like I hit a wall, I'm like, what's the point? Why am I even doing this? I'm never going to make it. I'm not blah, blah, blah. And if I can just keep that mentality when I'm helpless, I help. That way, if you can't figure it out for yourself, maybe at least you can help somebody else. A uh, few more things. Your past has developed muscles, not wounds. So don't use your past horrible experiences, like things I haven't even talked about on social media or even to close friends, kind of fuel my passion for all of this. Um, and it made, oh my gosh, my kid's coloring on herself. It's cool, tattoos. Um, use those things as fuel to make you work harder. Don't let them crush you because everybody has a past. Most of the uh, seven figure in, uh, earners came from nothing. Like they talked about how they ordered a side salad and an ice water at their huge team meeting because they literally could not afford to buy dinner at their first summit and here they are making millions of dollars. So don't let your past break you. Feel free to kick me off at any time because I'll keep talking. <laughs> Uh, okay, last one. You never own success. You rent it, and the rent is due every single day. I love that quote. Um, they said as soon as you uh, – this says there's a lot of broke geniuses. It's about how you use what you know. As soon as you quit being coachable and being teachable, you're going to lose. You know, all these huge companies that have gone out of business is because they refuse to change. They refuse to grow with the growing times. So, um yeah, you never own your success. It's only yours in the moment, and it can be gone if you don't keep growing. So that's what I have. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's Luke some. Um, <laughs> Jacqueline, go ahead, darling. Okay. Hi, everyone. It's good to see everyone who was at Summit. Like, I miss you guys already. <laughs> um, I have two things. Um, the first one is from Shalene Johnson. She's my favorite, I swear. She was like, got on stage and I was like, she's my spirit animal. Like, I just love her energy. She is incredible. I can't wait till you all can see her. But she said three things and I'm gonna say them to you and I hope everyone has a pen and paper because you're gonna wanna remember this. Um, the first one was borrowed words are for the birds. So, don't just mock, don't copy what people are saying, like, oh, that's such an inspirational post, and then take it, like, make stuff your own. Um, same with, like, quotes. I'm starting to make all my own quote pages. Like, make your own, um, don't just screenshot someone else's and then share that. Okay, so borrowed words are for the bird. Um, the second one was, don't tell me you're about to sell me. So when you go into a conversation with someone, they shouldn't know that you're trying to like recruit them or get them on your team or whatever. We're building relationships. We're not just making sales. Um, that is a huge one. So don't tell me you're about to sell me. Okay. Um, and then the third one was likes wear thin questions win. So it's not about your social media and building just your following and who likes your posts and, um, you know, going back and being like, wow, I feel really great because 90 people liked that post, but like how many people are you having conversations with and getting to know, um, that's way more important. So that's from Shalene Johnson. Um, the one other thing that I just wanted to say really quick was from Darren Hardy, who is also an incredible speaker. Um, he said, successful and unsuccessful people both hate doing what it takes but successful people do it anyway. So it doesn't matter if you're successful or if you're unsuccessful. There's things about business or being an entrepreneur or any career that you're not gonna wanna do. Like, I love my career as a therapist, but I don't like waking up at 5.30 in the morning to go there, you know? Like, I don't like that, but I still do it because it helps me be successful. Same with being a coach. I don't necessarily want to sit down and invite people and have conversations and like build relationships every single day. I just don't. I'm an introvert. Sometimes I just want to curl up in my bed and watch Netflix. But the difference between someone who is unsuccessful and someone who is successful is the successful person is doing it anyway. You don't have to like it. You just have to do it anyway. 
So I think that's a kind of misconception that we have as coaches is that like, we are so passionate about it that we want to love every second of it, but it's okay if you don't, it's okay. Of it, you just have to do it anyway, push through. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Karen. You're going to be next. So let me just mute. <laughs> Go ahead, Karen, darling. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Just want to make sure. Okay. I also took a whole bookload of notes. So I just, I'm going to touch on a few brief things that really stood out to me because I know some other people want to talk. Um, so one of them here, where was it? I think it was Darren Hardy that said it. Um, I don't remember who it was. Okay. Um, basically what they said was the, like, they really, a common theme I found was people saying like, don't leave phase one. So that bottom, like your basic, basic items, like, you know, you're reaching out, you're inviting, you're doing your personal development, you're being a proof the product works. Like even when you get further in that, they say you should always still be in that phase. So what we do every day, maybe like me still being a bottom level coach and people up there that are like top level coaches, we're all doing the same thing. The difference is they're, you know, maybe doing it more often than the others that aren't as successful. So somebody had said that um, the, the things that the little things that you need to do to be successful are easy to do, but they're also easy to not do. So it's really easy to sit down and maybe, you know, send out those invites, but it's also really easy to, to just skip it for a day and then another day and another day, and then it snowballs and you get out of control. So it, again, just kind of what Jacqueline was saying, just, you know, being like, Hey, maybe I don't want to do this today, but I'm, I want to be successful. So I'm just going to keep going with it. Um, another thing that really stuck out to me was just being yourself. Charlene said it, you know, you know, don't borrow words from everybody else, but just you want to, where was it? I wrote this down. You want to share you. So your past, your fears, your struggles, your triumphs, your vulnerabilities, your insecurities, everything that makes you as a person. Um, so they want you to know who you are first because you're pretty much speaking to who you used to be and talking to them in, in all of your posts. So people are attracted, like, like everybody was saying, everyone that everyone's doing the same thing, but someone's going to find your story so much inspirational than someone else. They're going to connect with you and they're not going to be able to do that if you're not sharing everything about yourself, which can be really uncomfortable at first to kind of dive into those vulnerabilities. But that's really what people can connect to you and you create belief through action and focus on small wins. Um, so those are a couple of things that just really, really stood out to me. The other thing was Shailene had talked about curiosity marketing. Um, so not giving all the information out at once and just leaking little tiny hints in each of your posts and things like that. Because, you know, when people know just a little bit about what you're talking about, you're like, well, well, what exactly is she doing, you know, to do that? Maybe I should ask questions and then they start asking questions and you can start those conversations and she wants you to take those conversations offline. So not like answering those questions in a reply to the comment, like actually like me private messaging those people or emailing those people or something to take that conversation offline. Um, but if you make a post that lists like, this is what I'm doing, this is exactly what you get, this is what's going on, people are like, oh, I know it all. I don't, I don't really want to comment on that. I don't care as much. So yeah, so just to, to just leak little bits and make people curious. And those are awesome. Kind of and big. just to kind of piggyback off that, what she also means is like when, when it, when it means like curiosity, like not using beach body in your post, meaning don't use the word beach body. Don't, don't say shakeology. You can say superfoods shake, or you could say my daily nutritional shake, but just really creating that curiosity. So they could be like, what shake? What shake are you drinking? You know, so that they ask you that question. For example, if you're talking about shift shop, you don't have to say shift shop. You can say my agility and strength program. You know, if you're using, you know, describe the program, you know, Pio, you don't have to say Pio. You can say my yoga program um, or my, Pil you know, so just kind of, you know, or if you're using any of Shanti's, my high intent, you know, my hit program or whatever, but just explaining it. Um, so that people will reach out to you and say, hey, what program are you doing? Um, and so that's, that's curiosity marketing, you know, doing it little by little without actually saying what you're doing. Um, Chelsea, you're next. Go ahead, Chelsea. Uh, okay, so um, I have like two things that are like notes that I took, and then I'm going to go on a short rant about why you have to go next year because you have to, because I said so. So um, I'm looking at my notes, and the one thing they've said a lot of stuff that 
I really loved. Um, going off of one of, I can't, I don't know who said this stuff, but anyways, um, they said when you're sharing your story, okay, shut up. When you're sharing your story um, and selling a challenge pack that you want to start off by saying their objections before they can. So if they're asking about your story and you're about to sell something and you can be like, yeah, I mean, like I'm a teacher, so I can be like, yeah, like when I started this program, I just didn't have the time. Like I work an average of 70 hours per week, true story and sad. Um, I didn't have the money, you know, teacher probs, like, and like just name three main objections, time, money, and like commitment level or time, money, and belief or the three main objections. So if you like say those before they can, like, I can't be like, oh yeah, I didn't have the money cause you know, teacher probs. And then I'm like, so do you want to do it? And they're like, I don't have the money, teacher probs. I'm like, I just said that and I did it anyway. So now you can't say that. So you say their objections before they get a chance to say their objections. If that makes sense, I hope it does. Did that make sense? A little oh, bit? I was listening. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, another thing that I liked <laughs> was that she said, uh, someone said you, <laughs> you have two ears and one mouth, and that's for a reason because you, you should listen twice as much as you talk. Something I clearly don't have a good handle on, but I'm going to learn how to. But that's definitely important when you're selling because, like, Tammy is like living for this. Hey, Tammy. Um, she, uh, so when you're selling, like, um, for example, my, one of my coaches today posted this thing. It got a hundred likes, like it blew up. People loved it. And people were commenting, like, tell me what you did. And so I was like, don't like go tell them what you did. Cause I knew she was going to want to message them and be like, well, let me take you back to August, 2016. I started with this. I did this program, this program. Like they don't really actually want to know all of that. They just want you to tell them what they need to do and where they can get it. So you need to be asking more about their issues. Like every time I didn't used to do this, I used to talk all the time, obviously. But now whenever people message me about challenge packs and stuff, instead of even going into detail about what I'm doing or what program I post about, I immediately say, well, let me ask, what are your current health and fitness goals? And then they usually don't like say, Hey, you didn't answer my question. Cause they want to tell you. So two years, one mouth was a good thing. Okay. Now here comes my rant. You have to go to summit. Like it is a game changer. Um, you could come out with matching outfits like this. Um, I mean, it's just crazy. I took my mom as my guest, so she didn't go to the trainings, but she went to like the celebration thing. And my mom has been a hardcore beach body hater, like still was a hater while we were there this weekend. Like she was hating on everyone. Like, she's like, look at all those people taking selfies. Like, wow. And I was like, okay, whatever. Well, she sat through the celebration and watched like all the beach body challenge winners who are the people who have lost like hundreds of pounds. And guess what she's doing? She's starting UV2 August 1st and she's doing Shakeology and nutrition plan. And I've been begging her to do that for over a year. And she was like, okay. And this Dumbo is going to do his first program with me starting on Monday. We're doing shift shop, if you could not tell. And I have been trying to get these people on board forever. And finally, I think they were like, okay, I guess she's not going to stop. And she's just going to be even more right. annoying. We just want you to stop talking about it. Right. So they're like, okay, so just wear them down is another sales tactic, I guess, with family. But, um, yeah, I don't know. You just have to go. It's such a game changer. Like, I had heard about the Millionaire Club and, and all these elite coaches. and top, But just seeing these people in person and, like, realizing that they – are doing nothing. They have nothing special that you don't have. Like they're literally just true. doing power. No, it's true. It's not rude. Um, they're just doing powers every day, just like us. Like they're doing the regular steps. And that was one of the main things that I took from. I can't remember if it was Fit and Funky or who, or if it was one of the speakers in the Superdome. But one of the really big, extremely wealthy coaches um, said that the main thing you need to do are the basics. So inviting and like I just assume once you get to a point where you're like Instagram famous that you don't have to do that anymore. But like that's not true. Like they're still doing the same exact stuff as us. So you have to go. You have to see it in person. And also Beachbody throws a. I'm gonna okay not. I'm going to not curse a really good party and they know how to like spoil their customers, which is really cool because as a teacher, no one ever gives me free stuff. And I love free stuff. Um, except for like the discount school supply store because I work at a poor school, but that's about it. But like beach body, like they're trying to give us like clothes for doing the right thing. And like, I earned a success club party and it was like amazing. And they just like, they really know how to treat their people and give you incentives to do your job. And like, they don't have to, you can just do your job and make the money. But instead of that, they're like, here's money. And here's a free gift because we love you. And it was cool to see them all in person and you have to go. And yes, the end. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Love your energy. Julia. 
Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, I'm on. Hey. Um, well, I you've already said a lot of things that I like too. Um, I really liked spending time with Lorian and her family. That was very special to me. And um, a few things that I took away. I I also think that you have to go to Summit because every year it's different. So it's not like you go there once and then you've seen it. Um, the first time I went last year, um, I was just like bright eyed and I did not expect, you know, the big show and the speakers and, and um, I don't know, the super dome kind of thing. I just, I'm not a super dome kind of person. So that was, and I, I kind of thought it was, it was going to be ridiculous, but then it, I'd walked away and I was totally blown away and it wanted me to be a coach forever and die with my coaches. And, and, uh, so this year I already knew what was coming, but it was still different again. And so I'm going again next year because I just feel like a million bucks. You know, I, I drove away from New Orleans and I thought, hmm, I'm going to be a millionaire too. <laughs> and although that might not happen, you know, I just feel really happy. I'm, I'm just happier doing the programs and helping other people. It just makes me a, a happier person. And living in, in America as an immigrant, you know, that's what you guys are all about. You're supposed to be happy. And so this company makes me and makes other people, as we can see, just better. So um, that said, uh, I thought what really moved me was that the CEOs and all these big guys are so down to earth and so real. And, you know, the Sunday session, uh, Sunday morning, there was a guy we, had, we you know, most of us will, will never meet. Um, he was just like a seasonal, like a regional um, background guy who's, who really has nothing to do with coaching. He teared up. I mean, there's so many. You have Chris Downing tear up on stage. You have, you know, some, some administrators crying. <laughs> because they're so moved by 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 this mission by what what we do and and I, I work at a university, and you know the administrators at my university don't care about the faculty. we never get rewards, we never get presents, we get pretty much pissed on all the time, and this is a completely different work environment, and I appreciate that um I need it I need it as a as a as the opposite um, working environment. Um, I also took away that you have to be obsessed or be average. So in order to be really good at this and enjoy it and um, become better at it, you have to do it every day and you have to be kind of crazy. And, you know, I also like that the CEOs and Shalene Johnson, I think, said, you know, don't put Beachbody on everything because people think it's crazy and it's like a cult. <laughs> and so be careful with that. I really like that, that they actually want you to be you and they don't want you to sell what, what they're selling. It, that, that's amazing to me. Um, I also like that um, don't rule anyone out. I think Amy Silverman said that. I always learn the most from Amy. Um, don't rule anyone out. You know, don't think that someone who's very successful does not need you or you know, someone you're kind of afraid of and you would never approach them, approach that person first. It's not, she said, stranger danger. And then on Sunday, um, Danielle's husband, who's very cute, said, um, you know, it just starts with saying hi to someone. You can say hi. It's not, that no one's gonna bite you. All you can, all you will hear is no thank you or not now. So it's not stranger danger. It's, it's, it starts with a very simple conversation and it, it involves you know, looking up from your screen and getting off, you know, getting away from your little world and, and be interested in someone else. I really like that. I like that about the job itself. Um, I also, I think this is the last thing because it hasn't been mentioned. Um, it really helped me to hear that we are the middle woman or, you know, we are not responsible for anyone to do what we ask them to do or what we advise them to do. It is not our responsibility. We don't have to make them do it. And that, uh, 
that is true for the challengers, the people we want to help. And it's also true for our coaches. If we give our coaches the tools, that does not mean they will use them. It's up for everyone. So, um, you know, our team, our little team, um, felt lost in a couple of months because, you know, one of us has kind of is taking a break. So we were really not sure where we were going. So it helped me to hear Amy Silverman say that she thought that, you know, she was going to be friends with her coaches forever. And they were going to go to each other's weddings and funerals and they would celebrate their sisterhood. And no one is still on her team. Not one of her coaches that, you know, started the whole thing with her is still with her. So it is really on you. It doesn't matter. I mean, we're lucky. We have a good team behind us. You know, we have Stephanie, we have Sophie who really want this too, but there are other coaches on other teams that don't have that, but they also don't necessarily need it. You don't need a very successful upline to be successful. You are your own boss and you just have to be obsessed with it. And then, you know, you can reach whatever you want to reach. And, and I like that. I think that's very American to me and that's why I'm here. And that's why, you know, I will stay. I will stay with Beachbody and I can see myself go there in five years. That was wonderful. That was really, really wonderful. Thank you. Teresa. Hey, girl. Hey, how y'all doing? Can you hear me? Yes. All righty. So I went to my first summit and um, I call myself a baby coach, but I think some of kind of grew me up a little bit. I got a little chest hair, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> and I took my husband and he understands what Beachbody's about. And so that was really, really, really important to me. So um, I'm really excited to say that we have a whole new idea of what our future could look like. You know, my husband looked at the little leadership ladder and he's telling me that I need another coach to be Emerald. Like, you know, like we're planning and plotting and it's kind of nice um, and one of the things i took away um was let's see who it was brendan bouchard who really really had me tearing up and looking cockeyed he said don't be one of those guys who cannot listen to your fears who can't do it afraid i'm a punk there's a lot of things i don't do because i'm afraid and I am one of those people that when I'm nervous and scared, I don't always hear the instructions. And he was talking about getting instructions to do the sky, um, I guess it was a jumping out of skydiving. And he was so scared, he didn't hear the instructions and he almost screwed it up. Well, actually he did screw it up, <laughs> but he didn't die. And so he, he literally said, don't be that person. Listen to your fears, hear the instructions, follow those instructions and do it afraid. That to me was mind blowing because there's a lot of things I don't do because I'm scared, but I'm going to do a lot more because I have that little nugget in my pocket. And then um, someone else said, find something to fight for. Um, find your big why or the big motivating factor. Um, and I think that's what's going to propel me at 10 p.m. at night when I don't want to do it after working a long shift in my clinic. Um, I think that's what's going to get me to stay up that extra hour or two hours and do it. Or like one of our coaches said, get up early in the morning and extra two hours and do it. I think knowing what my big why is, is going to do that. And if you haven't figured out your why yet, and I know a lot of people post, you know, that their why is their children or their spouse or whatnot. And I thought my why was, you know, something like that. But I think my why is different. And so I'm teasing that out. And I'm really enjoying what I'm finding out. Like, <laughs> I'm really enjoying finding out my, what my big why is. And it's, it's bigger than what I thought it was. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then one of the other things that was said, and I think this was said by, is it Adam Aitkins? No. I don't remember his name. But he was a coach. He was the coach um, that's also an NYPD police detective. And he's a really successful coach. He said that God's gift to us is potential. Our gift back is what we do with it. And I just thought, OMG, I love it. Like, I always give people credit for potential, but I don't think that I ever give myself credit to use mine back sometimes when it comes to this journey that we're on. So that was a really powerful thing. And I'll just give a two more because I have a bunch. And I don't even like to take notes, but I got like 
pages and pages of notes. This one was really awesome because I'm a doctor, but I don't listen to the facts about doctors being obese because I don't want to hear them. Um, someone said 44% of doctors are overweight or obese. It's over, it's one thing to know the path. It's a, not, it's a completely different thing to walk that path. Mind blown. I know the path. I didn't walk it for years. And so this was like a direct quote for me. I'm going to like use this. I'm going to make it beautiful and post it somewhere on Facebook one day. But I won't borrow the words. I'll tweak it, you know, because I learned better. You know, borrowed words are for the birds. We know this. <laughs> but I'll use it. And then um, this is another good one. People need to be reminded more than they need to be instructed. So um, instead of being Mrs. Bossy Pants, and telling people what they need to do, um, a gentle nudge, a gentle reminder is probably gonna win you more clients and more favor and maybe ultimately more success. And so I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna take my bossy pants off. That's me. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Tammy. Go ahead, Tammy. Hi. 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 First, I had so much fun this week. <laughs> I had so much fun this week. Um, I want to start with that. Um, the biggest thing I think I really took away from this is, like um, Teresa said, it was discovering your why. Um, this whole year, I thought my why was something completely different than what I discovered while at Summit. Like when I left... Um, all of the conventions and stuff on Saturday, I was walking to my car like almost in tears because I realized like what my why actually was. And I don't know, it was just really moving to me. So I'll be able to use that now as I'm doing this more. Um, and also um, really sharing your stories, finding a good way to kind of craft your stories and share them in a way that makes it relatable to other people and draw other people in. Um, Figuring out obviously what makes you unique because you know everybody has a lot of things that are similar, but there's only one you, so you need to discover what makes you stand out from other people and not be afraid to share that. Um, tracking everything, um, this is something I'm horrible about doing is tracking stuff, horrible about it. I'll do good for a little while, but then I'll fall off. But you know, it's incredibly, incredibly important. I'm going to try to get better at that. Um, one thing that they uh, suggested doing with your clients is um, learning like their love language or sending them a gem test, figuring out things that help with their personalities to help give them kind of an incentive so you can learn what helps motivate them. Um, that's something I definitely, definitely want to do with my customers that I have now um, and my coaches that are kind of ghosts right now, but they're there. Well, honey, no, you don't need to say hi. <laughs> She's going to say hi anyways. <laughs> um, no, quit. I'm trying to read my notes, but it's kind of like chicken scratch. Um, one of the people that were speaking said, treat your business as if you are being watched. Like it, treat it as if you're having a performance review done. Um, you know, we are our own boss, so it's very easy to just not do the work because nobody's seen it over you to tell you you know you need to do xyz you need to treat your business as if somebody's there standing over you to make sure you get your crap done i think that was it i ran through mine really fast awesome. heavenly get down awesome. thank you zakia hi hey okay um so um i think everybody um, I think, I think the thing I took away the most, you know, when I was doing a super workout and I was talking to all the people was that, you know, I always judge people. Like I look at the profile picture, oh, they're not going to make a good coach or something or just too shy or something. So when I talked to all the people around me, I was like, Hey, this is like my friend over there, you know? So now I don't judge anyone. I just send a message to anyone, you know, like I just talk to anyone, you know, because when I saw all those 20,000 people, and I was like, that could be my neighbor or that could be the person in the grocery store that I was talking to, you know? So that's what I got away. Now I don't even judge anymore. I just like send a friend request to everyone and I just talk to everyone, you know? And um, I like the thing about Amy Silverman, you know, you are always continuously building, you know, uh, don't be afraid to make a friend. Like when you're standing in 
the grocery store, just talk to the person next to you. Or, you know, when you're in the airport, just talk to the person next to you. And um, I was kind of adding friends that way, you know, just being friends on Facebook. Usually when you talk to a person, you take the time to get to know them. They won't say no to you, you know. And you don't have to bring the business opportunity right away or anything, or you don't have to talk about joining my challenge group. Just add them on Facebook. So, you know, um, yeah. So the other thing was I took away, let me see. Uh, I think this is from one of the top coaches, Bonnie Engel. Um, I got was um, impact lives every single day. And she said to... 30 people, reach out to 30 people per day. So that doesn't mean like 30 invites. It means five gratitude, five, you know, five friends, five challengers, five coach invites, you know, uh, five follow-ups. So that's just like, so um, what I've been doing is I've been following for the past two days. I told myself, you know, if I can wake up at 3 a.m. for a super workout and not be tired, I can wake up every single day at 5 a.m., get my workout in, and get my coaching work out of the way, you know? If I can do that, so I've been doing that. Uh, I did that yesterday and today, and I've been reaching out to 30 people yesterday and today, and my phone's been blowing up, like, throughout the day, you know? So I just kind of, it's kind of intimidating when my phone blows up. I don't really like, <laughs> like seeing my phone blow up, but... Um, but that's what I have to do. I need to network more. I have to talk to more people and if I want to be successful. So that was kind of my takeaway, basically. And also, and also the GEMS personality test. Like when you sign on a coach or when you sign on, sign on a challenger, you need to figure out what kind of personality they have. And based on that, you need to motivate them. Like if somebody is like, you know, a pearl and they're motivated by helping others, they're not going to be motivated if you show them the money in front of their face, you know? So uh, if someone is a sapphire or, you know, they're motivated by, you know, success, then you can show them the success letter and how can they earn. So you have to know the person's personality uh, to know how to motivate your coaches or how to motivate your challengers. So, Can I cut in and say one quick thing? Sure. Yeah. Um, Zakia, you said something about your phone blowing up and I used to get really, really, really excited and then I got really, really, really burnt out. Um, I've actually turned the notifications off on everything. I think somebody mentioned that this weekend too, so that when I'm ready to check Facebook messages and I click on it, then I see them all, but I don't see that little red, you know, number that pops up. And that has been huge for me so that I do it on my terms instead of like, oh, there's a message, oh, there's a message, oh, you know, because then all day long and then at the end of the day, you're like, oh, I didn't actually do anything today. <laughs> anyway, that just works for me. So if your phone is freaking out. I would suggest turn the, turning the suggestion or the notifications off. And I, would, and I would piggyback off of that just because I know many of us are going to be turbocharging our business now. I know personally, I have some huge goals for our team. And so I was told, I met with corporate today and they're told, they told me what I need to hit. And it's some huge goals. If, if we're going to finish as an elite team, which I believe we can, um, which we will, um, let's finish as an elite team. And so, um, Zakia and anyone else who's going to be turbocharging, I think take it to heart, turn off a lot of your notifications, you know, make sure that realize that the people will be there 12 hours from now, 10 hours from now, take this heat of advice. Um, because I know for me, when I was doing turbo recruiting, um, I'm not an anxious person at all. Like I really am not. Um, but waking up to a slew of, you know, looking at my phone and waking up to a slew of messages was very anxiety provoking to me. Um, so turning that all off and just kind of attacking it, um, on your terms, on your time. Um, because no one is ever sitting there with their credit card in their hand, ready to punch in their numbers. So just take that heat of advice. Um, wherever you are in your business, realize that um, so that you don't burn yourself out because it's very real to, if you're like trying to do something with your kids and you're hearing your phone, ding, 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 you're going to want and know that that person is not necessarily, um, you know, ready. They're just responding back. So just kind of take that heed of, of advice. Uh, Hello. Hi, everybody. Okay, I am so I want to give a shout out to TG because she went live for the first time 
um, right yes. after the summit. So she is someone who was faced a fear. So let's give her a, a nice round of applause. Okay, go ahead, Susie. Thank you. Okay, so the one thing I really want to tell you guys, for those who did not go to the summit, please, 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 please go. Don't make any excuses because before summit, I always tell myself, yes, I believe in beach body. I believe in this business. But trust me, after I came back home from the summit, I am on fire. The past two days, I woke up at 5.30 to work out, to do what I need to do to invite people. So if you make excuses, you can be successful. And um, the one thing I took from Samit is that um, just don't limit your vision and just go for it. There's nothing impossible. My goal is to become a diamond before the end of this year. I don't know how I'm going to make it happen, but I know it's going to happen. So just believe in yourself. We have a great team. And just believe in yourself. That's all I can tell you. Awesome. Yep, that's all. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Let's see who else is here. Uh, Blair, go ahead, Blair. Um, well, I wanted to, I spoke to, I think Steph and Luke both know this, but I really figured out a bunch of things while I was on um, the summit. Is I went last year. And this year I actually felt like I was, a di it, I, it was a different, um, a, a different time in my life from last year. So I really could figure out my why, um, my client, my customer. Um, so I just, my goal is to become diamond by the end of the, by next summit and, and help as many people as I possibly can and do the vital behaviors and one thing that has not been discussed and stephanie will stephanie under, will understand this is but the importance of personal development throughout all of summit was the pro, importance of personal development so i can't stress personal development enough because it's helped me through my journey and it was stressed all week Awesome. Thank you so much, Blair. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Denise. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, well, this was my first summit, and um, I want to start off by saying that I had no idea how big Beachbody was, this whole corporation. So um, I'm still very new and still learning about everything but that was the biggest thing like I didn't know like this is this is real this is huge um my experience I took a lot I thought uh we got a lot of motivation um training speakers that came out that are wonderful I think that that helped a lot for me personally if you're a new coach and you've never gone to a summit please go because you will realize that this is real and a lot of um, people have become very successful by helping others. So it, it's like you open up your eyes and um, you either decide if you want to take this to another level or if you don't. So um, other than that, I mean, like everyone else touched. I mean, the personal development for me was like the biggest thing um, that I know that I have to work on. And it's just repetitive. Get over your feel fears, be consistent, personal development um and basically that's what you heard from everyone that's successful and i did identify with one of the coaches that she did say that her physical transformation wasn't the biggest thing or noticeable um but she did uh, realize that she needed to work a lot with her with herself with her struggles so that's something i'm taking away and definitely i'm excited and and ready to start working. I did, even though I learned that I'm doing a lot of things that I'm not supposed to be doing, I did get some attention. I had a couple of people reach out and they were curious about everything that's going on. So I'm excited. I, on Saturday, I'm meeting with um, a, a girl I went to college. We're going hiking because she wants to talk about getting motivated. So I have a, a hiking meeting. So it might not work. Um, directly like um, I was going to say even though you think you're doing it wrong and I was a little like bummed out it, whatever you post it catches someone's attention 
So even if you think you're not doing great, you, you just don't know who's, who's looking and, and people just want to be healthy and motivate. So I think it was a great experience. I enjoyed meeting you all. So I'm looking forward for next year as well. Awesome. And I'll definitely piggyback off of that, Denise, because if you were to see my earlier posts, girl, you would not like it was I was I was all stock images, like breaking up my photo in four with like Sean T T25, Shakeology in the other in the other quadrant, me in the third quadrant and like so don't feel like and I still was able to help people and sell challenge packs and like get people started. So (laughs) is to take action. I had grainy photos. They weren't clear. They were in poor lighting. So don't the key is to take action. And that's something you've been doing. And so, you know, to give yourself credit for that um, is taking action and still, you know, failing forward. Um, So absolutely. Thank you for sharing. Lorian. Yeah. Hey. No, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, talking about decisions and everything, like, so we ended up, my husband got laid off a couple months ago. And so we, we knew we couldn't afford tickets, airplane tickets to Summit. Um, and I'd already bought my ticket to summit. I bought it at summit last year so I could force myself to go to another summit this year. Cause last year was my first summit. And so I was already like in, and I have to say that decision last year was one of the best decisions I ever made because there were so many times this year that I was like, I'm just, this is enough. Like, this is enough. I have a nine to five. I'm a mom. It's enough. But I was like, but I already bought the damn ticket. <laughs> And I got the non-refundable one. So there's no out, right? There's like no out for me. So this year, my husband and I drove. uh, It was a 24-hour drive. So we drove for two days each way, um, which meant we had to take off like seven days of work. And well, I had to take off seven days of work. (laughs) He's self-employed right now. Um, but, um, But it also meant that like, we have no money, you know, we're packing peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and sharing a house with Yulia, which was awesome, near some abandoned warehouses somewhere. <laughs> and, um, and that's all to say that, you know, I, something that stuck with me, uh, I think it was just Jessica Bauer Nelson said, um, to decide is to make a final choice, um, not to do our best. And that really hit home with me really hard because I feel like I've been, I've been like doing my best, whatever that means. Like I've been, I've been staying current, you know, like I hate being called a hobby coach because I've obviously like, I get up every day, I do my vitals, I reach out, I invite, but it's always with like the pretense of like, and I'm doing my best. And if it works out, then that's great. And if it doesn't, then, you know, whatever. Um, but I felt like that, like that for me sunk in a little bit, like to make a decision is to make a final choice and to not let yourself like off the hook before you even start it. And so that's kind of where I'm, I'm like changing directions a little bit, not only with what I'm doing, but with, with, with what I'm asking for my challengers, um, because I tend to take a very soft Um, approach with them and every day it's like oh it's okay you know you tried your best you did your best anything is better than nothing and you know like it's all right but it doesn't seem to be working so well a lot (laughs) with a lot of people Um, and I think that that this was a real sort of call to action um, for me Uh, you know she said my back was against the wall because I put it there and I just loved the idea that I walked away feeling like I wasn't as trapped as I felt like I was when I came into Summit because ultimately like we are responsible for deciding our results. And that was like a big, big thing for me personally. So I've been refocusing and working with Yulia and um, really figuring out, you know, some of those questions about like, is it enough to have, you know, accountability? Do we really want a success partner? Like how hard are we pushing for this thing to really work? So that, that was me. And I got to bring my family, which was actually really fun guys. (laughs) So I have a lot, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. And my husband 
is like so supportive. He, he went to the opening celebration with me. And before we'd even left, he bought um, dailysunshinesmoothies.com and put it in my name. <laughs> So like, he's been, he's been, he's like so on board with me, like so supportive and awesome. And my son does this really cute thing, which Julia can attest to where he basically always says, mom is going to go do beach body <laughs> with the whisper thing. They don't do anymore. But anyway, so it was great. And it, it, I had some really, really good takeaways from it. Thank you. So just a few more. So think, hang on. Let's see my mom. Let's see mom. What do you, what's one of your takeaways? Well, I did the Beachbody Classic. That's one thing. <laughs> that was uh, an amazing, amazing experience. But, you know, the most important thing was is being with my tribe. I feel whenever I go to the Beachbody Summit, I feel like I'm with my tribe. It's, it's all family there. And I kind of, it's like I'm home. All these people are doing the same thing that I'm doing back at home but there was a lot of takeaways a lot of you guys have mentioned them um but i love listening to brandon um for sure is that how you pronounce and you know i have a lot of stuff that i i jotted on my phone and you know one some of the stuff was that you need to elevate yourself you really do that's that's so true uh, never limit yourself which is very important also um raise your ambition for you and for your family um you must live each day with intention evaluate your life um like asking yourself did i live today did i love today and did i matter today to ask yourself those kind of questions um also i must no longer fear rejection you know how we fear to get rejections and stuff like that don't fear that at all and um, also to uh, jump in and face all your fear, uh, your fear and your fear is the area of your growth. So I really like that one because it says, I must jump in and face your fear. Your fear is the area of your growth. Like when I did the Beachbody Classic, I was scared. I was scared to get on that stage, put on that bikini because I never do something like that. But that was facing my fear, getting on that stage, walking across the stage, half naked, but I walked across the stage. And um, that is facing your fear and, um, and just, just doing what you have to do. And um, some other notes says, it never limit, um, let me see here. And it's so important to take care of yourself, which is key. A lot of us, we work, 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 but you gotta take care of you and make sure that you always show up and you do your workout and give it your all. And um, it'll be amazing. I really enjoy Summit. I will definitely be going back next year. I will always be there. Um, this is my family, this is my tribe, and um, I am truly blessed to have all of you in my, in my life. I feel like mama to all of you. So I've gone through empty nesting, but I'm not because I have everyone. I have all of you. So awesome. Thank you, mom. Lori. Go ahead, yeah. girl. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, yeah, take out your earphones. <laughs> um, yeah, like everybody's pretty much said a lot of the stuff that I was going to say. I didn't really believe in Beachbody at first. Um, I started working out with Tammy last year and she held me four months to be a coach and do this, that, and the other. And I finally did. And, you know, um, you know, I've been working on my diet and my health and a lot of my personal development I've been working on. Um, I, uh, it's something real big. I just realized it the other day and Tammy brought it to my attention. When I first started this last year, I was on about 19 different prescriptions, um, for high blood pressure. I have PCOS, I have anxiety and everything else. And I just recently switched to a new doctor and now I am officially off of most of my medicines. I'm down to only taking four. I have no anxiety medicine. My PCS is on check. I no longer have to take any medicine for that. Like, this is just how much Beachbody has helped me out. So, um, which I'm glad for that. But um, a lot, your mom had mentioned Brendan. I 
that man made me cry. And I thought it was going to be Charlene because I, I love Charlene and everything, but Brendan really made me cry with his story and everything. And I did take away a lot of the five personal must, like your mom just mentioned and everything. Because I do have a lot of fear about rejection and not being able to do this and do anything and stuff like that. So this really did like, you know, hit home for me. And the summit was just amazing. I have a completely different outlook on a lot of things. Um, since summit it was amazing and i'm like completely pumped i've been at tammy's house for two days i'm like come on let's do this let's get on this i'm here now at tammy's like come on like you know let's let's get this going and everything so yes i will be at summit next year and i cannot wait awesome all right i think everyone went except me so you know i'm gonna end this so i'm gonna have some takeaways to share with you guys that know it all right so I love that all of, so first of all, guys, all of you guys who went, I can already, it's like all of you guys like just like grew up right before my eyes. Um, I don't know if you can sense that within yourself, but it was like, it's just like you guys just kind of like all like took a step up. Um, and that is the power. And I, and I kept telling you guys this as I was, you know, as you guys were like, wow, I'm learning so much. That is the power of live events. Um, and so definitely, you know, we have in September, you know, we have Super Saturday. So that's another for those of you who, those of us who went to Summit and those of us who did not go to Summit, look for your local Super Saturday um, because that is another opportunity to be around your people, to be around your friends, to be around other people within this opportunity. Um, so definitely, you know, my plug in for live events, I, I can't, I can't even stress it enough. Um, so but a couple, just a couple, and I won't keep you guys too long. One thing um, that a couple things, number one, don't wish it were easier, wish you were better. Um, I think that is an extremely powerful quote. Do not wish you were, you know, don't wish it were easier, wish you were better. And I think that just speaks to just, you know, looking at the, the mountain ahead, because at the end of the day, if you're trying, you know, the mission that we have as a company, the mission that all of us have within our lives to elevate our lives it is a mountain. It's a mountain we have to climb, you know, at the end of the day, and it's going to be hard and there's going to be boulders and there's going to be snakes on that mountain. And there's going to be people on, you know, on that mountain that are going to try to make us turn around and give up, but you have to keep on track. You have to get stronger. You have to become resilient. You have to really grow this thick skin. Um, so, you know, don't wish it were easier, you know, wish you were better. Um, one thing I do want to share because I uh, what I had the privilege of listening to Brendan a second time. So for those of you who are pushing, you know, by next year, what they do is when you are a two star diamond, they invite you into a leadership workshop. So something to push for for next summit um, is that you, you know, maybe you you push for being a part of the leadership workshop as well. And so one thing he said in there, um, we got to listen to him for another hour, and it was really great. And he spoke about the different qualities of high performance leaders all throughout the world, whether they're multi-billionaires or multi-millionaires running these big companies. And so I'm going to share with you those six qualities. Number one is that they seek clarity. So what I mean by that, um, oh, you have to be two star Chelsea, um, a couple weeks before summit. So not by the end of this year, a couple weeks before summit. Um, Another thing, oh, speaking of qualifications, for those of you, you know, another big one to qualify for is the new leadership conference, which is actually held in the first quarter of the year. And that to qualify for that is you have to be two star by the end of the by, by the end of the calendar year to be able to qualify. So that could be something to put on your vision board. It's another kind of it's similar to summit, but on a much smaller scale, like 300 people. And it's all of corporate and it's a really amazing experience. So in terms of visualizing, making sure you put that on your vision board, that's a really great thing to push for. So number one, in terms of um, the qualities, they, they seek clarity. And so what he meant by that is that they are always asking questions. They're always looking to refine themselves. They're always asking for feedback. And this can be guys from your coaches, from your challengers, from the people on your audience, you know, and do not be afraid of the feedback. I used to be someone back when I was, I mean, I've, I've, I'm working through that where I'm, I was afraid of, not afraid, but I didn't like people, you know, I didn't like feedback. I thought it was like, a, I was taking it too personal, but I realized that it's a way for me to improve. So they're always seeking clarity, always looking about how can I improve? Number two is that they generate energy. 
right? I think all of you guys can tell, like the people that are on stage, they have an energy about them. Um, and it's not that you ha you're, you don't necessarily, you know, sometimes all of us come out of the womb, right? Screaming, right? All of us are born screaming. Um, and it's our life experiences that quiet our, our energy down for some of us. Some of us still have high energy. Um, and so it's to our advantage, Chelsea. Um, and so <laughs> um, whose goal is to have a whole team of Sapphires, which I know she's going to accomplish it. So we're going to have a, we're going to have an amazing fun group there. Um, but they generate energy. And so real, you know, so just kind of, you know, understanding that. So number three is that they raise necessity. And so what that means is that it is necessary for them to have success. It is necessary for them to do well. It is not something that they're just like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe if I do well. No, it is a necessity. It is their must. And so that is something, because you, if you think about it, guys, why else would multimillionaires push themselves, right? Why else would billionaires push themselves? They're continuing. It's because whatever level they're trying to get to, it's, it's a must for them. You know, these are people that have, you know, everything financially made for them, but they continue to elevate themselves because of their mission. They continue to push forward because it's a must. Um, Number, uh, number four is that they develop influence, which, you know, all of us are doing through our social media. And actually, Brendan, what, one thing he did was that he had us take a, a questionnaire. And he said that as coaches, this was our strongest point, was that we all develop influence. And so that's something that's really important. Another one is that they, in, they um, develop courage. Uh, and that was really important because in order to be successful, in order to push people, guys, you have to have courage, right? It's hard to be able to tell, to, to speak to someone directly if that's not your nature. And so, you know, some of us is going to, it's, it's something that we develop. Some of us, it's easier to do. And some of us, we have to kind of grow into that. And you're, you know, you're going to grow into that because at the end of the day, people come to you for help. They come to you for direction. They come to you so that you can call them out. And don't be afraid to do that. And so really pushing yourself, pushing your challenges, pushing your coaches, having the courage to do that. And then the last one is that they increase their productivity. And this was actually the one that we scored the lowest on, is that we, he was saying that us as coaches as a whole, we are not very productive with our time. We are wasting time. We are getting distracted. We are getting distracted with social media. Um, and I know I had conversations with people, you know, who were there, how that's something I've struggled with, you know, which I'm sure other coaches struggle with. You have to be very careful with your time and your time management and making sure that you're working from a list, making sure that you're being productive with your time. So that was something um, that I took from it. And then obviously someone said here, you know, the, found, the fundamentals, and this is separate from that, but the fundamentals, yes, we have the vital behaviors and those are part of the fundamentals, um, but always staying in phase one, but also to add to that is to make sure that you're visualizing daily, to make sure that, you know, one thing that Moira said on stage, and she's someone who's a newer coach, been in the, in the business for two years, every single morning before she rises, before she even opens her phone, she does, she does two things. She reads her vision, she wrote out her vision statement. She wrote out what she wants for her family. She reads that every single morning and she does personal development every single morning before she picks up her phone. And that's incredibly important, guys, because that is where you're going to get your inspiration to be able to push forward for the day. That is going to give you some guidance of what you're working hard for. So be, you know, write down your vision statement, write down, you know, ex, you know, write down what you want to happen because it really will happen as you write it down. It really will. Whatever you, I was talking to someone, TG, she was saying, she's like, Stephanie, everything I put on my vision board is coming true. And I said, that's the power, you know, of, of visualization, everything you put on your vision board. So put something big on your vision board and stare at that bad boy all day long and put some big goals on there. So she said the fundamentals were visualizing daily and goal setting daily. So make sure that you guys are doing that. Make sure that you guys are getting excited because at the end of the day, what's, you know, the idea is that you, all of you are going to have organizations under you, all of you. And, and, and as a, as a leader that's developing, you are going to be setting the vision for the people that come behind you. You know, at the end of the day, you are going to be setting that vision. So become very clear with that vision and don't be afraid to dream big 
because that's what we do as coaches, right? We tell people, you know, go for your dreams. You know, you can elevate your life. We are light workers is what I like to call us, where we're shedding light, we're, we're inspiring people, we're motivating people, we're helping people live their best lives because there's a, you know, there's a really negative world out there. We all experience it with everyone around us, right? There's a really negative world out there. And so our job is to be the light worker. And so really making sure that you are, and, and if you're, go, it's, a, it's a big mission, right? It's a big mission to stay positive all the time. It really is to be positive, to shed that energy, to share that energy and making sure that every morning you're setting your intentions and you're visualizing and you're protecting your energy, right? You have to protect your energy um, and make sure because if you're going to be doing this type of work, you have to be above everyone else. And you have to be doing your personal development so that you can stay at that level. And it's okay if you, if you it's okay if you have a, a little downspurt. Make sure though that you don't let that make you go so off track. If you're in a downspurt, if you're ever in a downspurt, in a down, like a downhill, you pick up your personal development. That's when you really need your personal development. And so just really always keep that in mind. And, and again, because the ups and downs are, are really, really, could be really, really brutal sometimes, but they, the, they, they really do develop you. And then let's see. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So what, let's see. Um, I think that's about all, all I had to say and that, oh, and then they were just kind of saying guys that at the end of the day to build a successful business, it's hard work. As I think Darren Hardy was saying that it comes down to plain old hard work and guess what hard work. And he was saying is unsexy. It's mundane. You're doing the same thing. And like everyone else was saying, you know, other people were saying here, the things that are easy to do, the, the things that are easy not to do. This business is not hard. The things we have to do every single day are actually very easy. It's staying the course and doing them every single day. And so, you know, hard work is mundane. It's unsexy. It can be defeating at times to be able to have success. It can, you're going to go through that. So don't get discouraged, you know, definitely always feel free to reach out to me if you're feeling discouraged or your upline or other people, you know, lock arms with people within this team. It's the reason why I, I, you know, I decided to open up a new team page and just really bring in the people that really want to build and really want to be here. Um, because we need to make sure we're all on the, you know, we're all working towards the same mission. So it's, that's one thing I wanted to say about hard work. Um, and then success is earned one day at a time and one decision at a time. Again, just kind of going over that compound effect of, and that's what Darren Hardy said. Anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to say. Um, so it's, thank you so much. All of you, most of you all stayed here for an hour and a half. This recording will be, um, will be shared and I'm excited guys. I don't know about you, but I am super, super pumped, super excited. Um, there's a lot, you know, there's, there's a lot coming down the pike. You know, I know that, you know, for me, this was my fourth summit. Um, I've been going every single, every single year since I signed up as a coach and this was the best summit for me. And I think it, it's like, like Julia was saying, it's like you go and it's like you, you, you're in a different a mental space and also you take different things. And also I just feel like Beachbody is putting on better, a better summit. Um, it's like they're, they're growing up, which is good because we're about to head over to the UK, but I will tell you that like everyone's just kind of echoed here. Nothing beats these live events. You can tell those of you who are not there, you can tell that all of us coming out of here. were just like, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go and make, you know, make it, you know, make it a, a necessity, a no matter what, you know, and it's, and it's because guys, it was a, you know, it was a rough year, you know, for, for our team. Many of you guys know that it was a rough year. It was, you know, and from where we were last year to where we are now. Um, but I am super excited because I'm super pumped with who's still here and who's ready to run and who's ready to rebuild. And as I was talking to other leaders, this is very common. So speaking to Julia and Lori, like, this is very common. Like you said, Julia, where like Amy Silverman says, it's like the coaches that I had are no, are no longer here. It's, it's very, very common. One thing in the leadership that Lindsay Matway said, she had us all like raise our hands. It's like, how many of you had diamonds who left? And looking at Lindsay Matway, she's had 67 diamonds who have left. And so that's, you know, that's crazy, you know, and that's incredible to even think about. But she's had 
67 diamonds who have left the business over the course of her time frame as a coach. And so um, that kind of unwavering, you know, the reason why I'm still here, the reason why Julia is here, the reason why Hannah is here, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a belief in this company and there's a belief in the mission of what we're doing as a team. Um, and then, oh yeah, Chelsea is saying that Fit and Funky lost 50K last year too, yeah. Um, and so there's definitely ups and downs. Um, and so realizing that any, any, you know, if you're in business for anything, you have to really cast vision and really believe in the mission and understand what your why is. And then someone says here, success is a result of small, seemingly insignificant moment to moment choices. The results are invisible in the moment. Absolutely. Amen to that. Anyway, guys, I hope that you guys have an amazing, amazing rest of the week. You know, catch the surge tomorrow. It'll be really awesome. Um, make sure that you're talking to people about Team Cup to get on a team. And let's rock the rest of this week. Bye, guys.